everyone and welcome to Resident Evil 2. Now, I recently finished Silent Hill 2 and it was a huge, amazing experience and I loved it so much. Uh, and I'm looking for something a little different but still a horror game to play at the moment. So we're actually looking into Resident Evil 2, finally. Now, my experience with Resident Evil games is very small. I've played... Resident Evil 5 in high school and I played Resident Evil 7 most recently and I really really enjoyed Resident Evil 7. Um, I've only played the base game of 7 but I own the DLC so I assume I'll get to that at some point. Um, but in terms of the original Resident Evil games or even the recent remakes I haven't touched them. So before playing the remakes which I do want to play. I want to go back and appreciate the originals because I know that a lot of people seem to have that view of seeing what came before and what came after and being able to appreciate the differences. And I know that people have sort of regarded Resident Evil 2 remake as how to do a remake. So I'm very excited to give that a go. So I'm going to get into this one now and we're going to see what the fuss is about with Resident Evil 2 from 1998. Uh, I will let you know as well that we are playing the GameCube version of Resident Evil 2, uh, so the character models should look a bit better than the original PlayStation version. So let's get into it. Alright, now in terms of playing this game, I want to experience the story of it more so than the difficulty or the challenge, so I'm actually just going to play through this one on easy. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus. This is Resident Evil a 1, isn't it? toxin created by the International Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Nice. So that was a recap on Resident Evil 1, which I actually bought the original PS1 version of that years and years ago. And I tried to play it and I just wasn't in the right space for it. I just couldn't give it the the proper time and I just never played it properly and ended up getting rid of it eventually but now I want to appreciate the older ones so we're gonna start with two what have we got here and then play three and then four and we're skipping over one for now <laughs> People who always get bit and then just carry on like normal because they don't know what's coming for them. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? Yeah. All right, that's far enough. I think what makes Go these on. even more scary than they should be is just the, how terrible the, the graphics are. So they just look no. super unsettling and jittery. Oh my god, the body twitching is such a nice touch. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. <laughs> he doesn't understand that they're zombies. Shoot. Get down. 
We can't stay out nice. here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. Uh, I came to find my brother, Chris. Chris Redfield? He knows about him. Dude, that looks really good. The car driving graphics is Could you open the glove box? pretty good. Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. No! Look out! Oh, nice. That's why you gotta wear your seatbelts, even okay. if you're a zombie. Still in one piece. Oh my god. Jesus. Claire! Leon! Ah, uh, it makes sense. I'll meet you there. Okay. This is why you can choose Leon or Claire's story, because they're separated. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Oh god, we're straight into it. Uh, controls, controls. This is run. Oh, there's a few of them. Ooh, just gonna... Oh god, just uh, don't mind me. Just gonna... Just gonna have a quick mosey on through here. A gun shop. Don't mind if I do. Now, again, just let me take a take a brief moment just to recap my experience with Resident Evil. So, chronologically, I bought Resident Evil 1. I tried it. Wasn't for me at the time. Also, the controls are very dated, and I was struggling, so I put it down. Uh, didn't play any of the other ones, because my first Resident Evil game that I ever played was Resident Evil 5 in high school, and uh, me and an old friend in high school just like smashed it out in co-op all the time, and I vaguely remember it. I, I remember that Chris Redfield is your character, and he has a companion that I can't remember the name of. Um, Wesker's in it. that's about it it's set in Africa I think um, so I didn't play Resident Evil 6 but I did buy it because I was planning on playing it and then it was just it's just been sat on my shelf for, for years as with many games that I own just in the backlog and uh, then I played Resident Evil 7 because that came out and I was very interested the fact that it was in first person was awesome and also not directly tied to any of the previous games I don't think so it looks like it was its own thing I fucking loved Resident Evil 7 that was a really good time so I'm super keen for the next one because it seems like the trend of Resident Evil is that uh, the f it has like a trilogy in a different camera style where it was like fixed perspective third person and first person but I mean we, we won't know that until Resident Evil 8 comes out but that's essentially my Resident Evil experience. So I played the fifth game and the seventh game, and now I'm playing the second one just because the two and three remakes have come out. So we'll see how we go. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Who are you? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were one of them. 
What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Nice. Um, Leon's character model looks pretty decent. He's got it. He looks so much better than the actual cutscene, <laughs> Leon. The that wasn't was a bit terrifying. Now again, I want to experience the story and the actual game as is. So while I'm not looking to make it also challenging, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run through it on easy because I know that I struggled with the original Resident Evil um, just due to like item limitations and again dated controls so just so I make sure that this is a smooth experience and a run through the game I'm gonna play it on easy so um, how can I check what I have this is the pause can I check like an inventory cool okay I feel like this is easy mode where it's like hey here's all your bullets like I'm not gonna complain <laughs> The only, the only thing about, um, yes, I will take those. The only thing that I can really say about this is the character models look good. The, the pre-rendered backgrounds suffer from not being able to be upscaled, so they're still a little blurry and also like some pictures and stuff. But the advantage of that is like objects, like the handgun bullets stand out, <laughs> which is good. Oh God. He has been murdered by three identical twin zombies and another one. Oh my god, how do I... how do I play? How do I shoot? Oh my god, there it is. Okay, uh... That's how I shoot. I have to get used to a new game and new controls. Oh my god, get away from me. Thank you so much, Easy Mode, for allowing me to shoot these guys. Oh my god, they're not dead. Please die. Come on. The only way that you can tell they're actually dead is when the goddamn blood puddle happens. God, they look terrifying. You had a shotgun. Can I can I have that? Yes. Yes. He has stopped breathing. Even if he even if he was still breathing, I I think he is a goner. <laughs> I would not hold out hope for that guy. Gun cases and related paraphernalia. Is there anything in here for me that I can grab? I don't know where anything is, so I'm like, hey, this is a gun store, so there's gotta be something, right? He did he did he only have did he only have four shotgun shells? That dude had barely nothing on him. I'm still trying to get used to the controls as well, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> oh my god, that that classic classic zombie sound effect. Ooh, oh my god, there they are. <laughs> Why is hang on one second. Why is there? there we go? My thumbnail, my thumbstick is not my friend. Can I open it? No. They're just gonna push that gate back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, while I walk down here. Oh my god, that's so typical. Oh my god, is there any down here? Am I gonna get cornered? Why won't you turn around? Ooh, that was a lot of handgun bullets, thank you. Alright, so this is the map. I need to... S I'm used to playing Silent Hill 2, so I have to hold the trigger down before I attack, but this one, instead of it being R2, is R1. Are they still alive? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I can aim up and down. Cool. Oh my god, no! I fell for it. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I exploded his head.
Is he... Is he alive? It won't... I don't know. All I know is that I'm wasting bullets. And I keep... I'm gonna keep pulling that map up for a while, I apologize. I don't trust him, he's, he's alive. There we go. You can still shoot him when they're on the ground. Alright, he's dead now. Rest in peace to my bullets in my inventory. Alright, I have to combine them to reload it. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Classic open the door loading screen. I love pre-rendered backgrounds, dude. This looks so cool to me. I don't care that it's, like, slightly pixelated. Like, it's still so cool to see. Oh, I have to... Press A to walk upstairs. Oh god. I love the design of this city, that's so cool. Alright, down this staircase we go. There's a lady just chilling out. I'm just gonna shoot you, don't mind me. Oh god. Just so I don't have to deal with you now. Is there a window here? No. I hate that it looks at the the bodies on the ground because it tricks me. I'm like, are they are they dead? Are they alive? Like, is this guy dead? All right, he's got the blood uh, puddle coming out, so he must be dead. All right, he's got the oh god, the way that they just like moan, super unsettling. Or anything. I'm just like, I want to make sure that I always get <laughs> all the items or at least have a good stock of things. Maybe I won't have to worry about that so much being on easy mode. So it should be alright. What is that? Oh my god, the dude with all the like knives in his back at the table. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, poor guy. Oh fuck. Just the boys having a munch. Oh my god, get away! Oh shit. Come on, get off of me, dude. Oh, get off of me. Shit. I'm better than this. Please leave me alone. Oh, buddy, come on. How's my health doing? Can I even tell? I'm fine. Alright, he's fine. He's not fine. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, so do we go on to... Yes. Let's go on to the bus. We'll take the bus. Will you take the handgun bullets because you wasted them all earlier? Yes. Oh my god. Ooh. Fuck off. Alright. One bullet. Oh my god. Please, leave me alone. I don't know if he's dead or not. Alright, I guess he's dead. <laughs> it's so hard to tell when you can't see them fully. No sign of life. Just a casual walk through the bus. Ah! Oh. <laughs> no. Dude. Yep. Yep. Please just go down. Yeah, so the Resident Evils, or the Resident Evil that I'm used to playing. With it being, oh god, there's so many of them. With it being Resident Evil 5 was more of like the third person action Resident Evil, because I'm pretty, like, 
I'm familiar with there being like multiple types or genres of Resident Evil games. There's like the survival horror Resident Evil, which is mainly like the first three and then it moves more into like action. And then my experience with Resident Evil 7 is that it kind of blends the two where it's like horror for like most of it and then when you get towards the when you get towards the ending uh, it gets a bit more actiony. That's right, I shot you on the ground. Are you dead yet? I can't see the blood pool. There's the blood pool. God damn dude, all the all the dead cops. Please go down. Oh god. Alright, blood puddle. I can I can trust the blood puddle. I need some health, dude. Where am I gonna get health? Oh god, they're all following me. Are they gonna come for me? Oh, well, in my experience, the gates don't stay closed for long. No, I guess I'm not going back that way. guy right there. Oh my god, there are a couple of guys right here. Hey team. Get down on the ground! Alright, nice. Oh, okay, I just went around in circles pretty much. So, I guess that means I'm going in here. RPD, Raccoon City Police Department. Okay, so this is, this is where we asked Claire to go to, didn't we? fountain something is written here to obtain the key to open your heart I'll wait for the unicorn the beautiful beast ah uh, yes as well as being survival horror it's gonna be very puzzle like too so we're gonna have to figure that out it's electronically locked oh god we're gonna have to figure out where we can actually go all right let's try first door on the left with unsettling music. Oh shit. Oh man. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. <laughs> you Leon. must be the new guy. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. <laughs> what happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Oh my god, is he just pointing a gun at Fine. me? Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Exposition. Guys, we don't need to play Resident Evil 1. It's fine because we already got everything we need to know from Exposition Man and he has locked the door on us. But we have a key card. Okay. So there's another door down here that we can try. 
here. I'm trying to get used to the controls still, by the way. Yes. Oh yeah, there's also limited inventory space. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm used to Silent Hill having a nice, you know, easygoing inventory style system. Will you use the computer? Yes. Door lock service. Whole side door is locked. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Will you use the blue card key? Yes. Okay, we've unlocked two doors. We've got two options for us now. Will you take the ink ribbon? Yes. You've taken the ink ribbon. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes. Alright. We've saved our game for the first time. And now we've got two ink ribbons taking up our inventory space. Um, so we're going to have to... I'm going to have to play in wisely in what we actually pick up. And also, I need to figure out how to get health and which doors to go through. I guess we'll try the big double doors first, huh? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, an item box. Oh, cool, so we can store stuff in there. <laughs> yes, please. Cool. Alright, well, give me a first aid spray because I need to use it on myself, please. I feel like the. F we'll just use it. Alright, he's fine. And I'll take another one with me just in case. I'm going to leave the shotgun in here because I only have four, four bullets. Um, with, with the amount of, with the amount of bullets I have, I don't think I'm going to need the knife either, so. Let's see how that goes. At least I can always come back here because I know where the, the item box is now. Police memorandum. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Okay, 2236. Oh, it's been filed. Cool. Um, does that, oh god, uh, does that mean... Oh, it's a, oh, it's a hint. This little statue of a woman in the description. It says that they've filed. I filed that note, but where have I filed it? <laughs> Is it not in here? Oh, it's like that. All right, cool. Love that. All right, let's have a look around. So two two. Oh God, it's too dark to see anything outside except for you know the goddamn whatever the fuck was walking over the window. What the hell was that? All right, maybe, maybe before we go this way, we're gonna actually while it's fresh in our minds, let's go to the safe.
So that's in the um, in the east in the east section. So it's been moved from the second floor to the first floor. Two two three six. Where is it? Is it up this way? Okay, here. Or is this considered the... No, this is considered the first floor. Cool. I was just like, oh, maybe this would be considered... The ground floor? Oh god. Oh my god, there's a few of them. Oh my god, there's more than a few of them. How the hell are you supposed to do this? with, like, your normal amount of bullets on non-easy mode. That's all I've got to say. Maybe this is going to be too easy. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Dude, this place is... This place is filled with cops, dude. The fan moving is unsettling as hell. Eh, please. What is this? Can I interact with this? Okay, I've got some ink ribbons. Is there someone in there? Oh, it's a, it's a zombie. Okay. It's like, what the fuck? Ooh, but we found the safe. Uh, two, two, three, six. Will you take the shotgun shells? Nice, cool. A police station map, will you take it? Yes, I will take the police station map. Alright, cool. So we've got a full map now that shows which rooms we're in, which rooms we've been in, I think. Cool. Is there anything behind here for us? Oh. Sure. How, you, how am I supposed to just normally find where that is? Is this where I came from? Where am I again? I'm trying to figure out where I am. It's, it's really hard to move about here sometimes. Ah, oh, I haven't been here before. Okay. takes me outside. Ooh. You take the- ah, the herbs are s Hmm. The herbs are all separate. Okay, well before I go up here, I'm gonna go put all this in the item box. I feel like maybe there are some items that are better just like left untouched, like, you could just, like, keep them. Oh my god. He's not dead. Excuse me. You moved your head. Piece of crap. You gave yourself away. You didn't bite my ankles. Okay. All the bodies are gone. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> I beg to differ. There's another herb there as well. Makes me feel like I wasted the first aid spray because I'm pretty sure they heal more than the herbs do. It's 
soundtrack is good. Alright, let's go in here. Cool. And let me store some stuff in here. Wonderful. I'm gonna steal, store the ink ribbons in here as well. And I'm gonna put the shells in there as well because I don't need them right now, really. I'm just trying to think which is the best way that I should go right now. So that's a staircase which will take me up to the second floor, yeah. Maybe I should just stay on the first floor while I'm here. Um, I need to know what the flashing lights mean. It looks like yellow ones are the unlocked doors, I guess. And then we'll, we'll just find out as we go. Well, maybe we'll just go this way then, because we got the safe from the east end. And then it looks like there's just a staircase that goes up. Yes, this is where the door was. Cool. Open close switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Fuck. And the window is like smashed open. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Is that blood dripping from the ceiling, dude? It's locked. A spade is etched under the keyhole. Oh god, that's what was crawling along the window! Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. You died. I didn't know I was playing Dark Souls, what the fuck? Jesus, man. Well. <sighs> well, that was my first episode of Resident Evil 2. Because now I have to load the game and do all of that all over again. So, um, hell yeah. Doesn't look like I can fight that guy with just a handgun, <laughs> even on easy mode. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna have to take it, take the shotgun to its face. So, um, thank you for watching this one, and maybe I'll do better in the next episode. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>